Hello everyone, Mandi Burmi here. Uh, we are in uh, Brampton, Ontario. So in this video, uh, we're going to talk about uh, Brampton, Ontario G1 exit um, driver's test. So um, basically, we are not we are not going on a going on a highway. And uh, in your um, G1 exit, uh, your examiner will ask you to do a three-point turn, parallel parking. Uh, they might ask you to do a reverse parking, um, uphill, downhill and uh, you will be driving in a residential area some left turns at traffic lights right turns lane change um, all the good stuff um, all right so let's uh, get going and um, before we go if you are in a brampton ontario looking for driving lessons give me a call send me a text message you guys see the number on the screen uh, you can also book your driving lessons online uh, through the website so check that out uh, link is in the description below so open the website enter your pickup address and uh, you will see all the instructors who teach uh, in your area okay so let's uh, get going um, all right so we're gonna back up from here now when you're backing up if the back end of the car goes to the right then you signal right make sure you're checking on both sides uh, very important. Um, so the car was making that noise because there was another car actually behind us, right? Um, this car um, has all the fancy new sensors. Okay, so looks good. The right signal is on because the back end of the car is going to the right. And if the back side of the car goes to the right, uh, left, then you uh, signal left. Uh, we will be turning left here checking traffic on both sides looks empty parking lots you want to treat them like a two-way street so keep your car on the right hand side unless you see a sign indicating um, it's a one-way street stop sign we are uh, turning right and uh, complete stop here before the crosswalk check on all the sides looks clear and now we are good to go um, and uh, another stop sign is coming up uh, we will be turning right again that's the only option we have uh, complete stop before the stop line check for pedestrians no pedestrians then we go forward to look at the traffic looks clear and now we are good to go we're gonna switch lanes so signal shoulder check to the left uh, to change lane because the other lane was only for uh, right turns that's what that black sign uh, with a white arrow means um, the right lane if you are driving in a right lane you can only turn right um, on the next intersection okay so uh, from this traffic light we are going straight now when you are um, waiting for a green light you still want to keep both hands on the steering wheel and if you stop behind a car uh, like this uh, make sure uh, you know you can see the back wheels on the ground so you want to have um, little bit space between your car and the other car right so don't go too close to the other car okay so um, this lane is going a little bit slow so we will uh, try to uh, change lane um, there is a bus in this lane I think that's why it's going a uh, little bit slow anyways uh, speed limit sign on the right hand side showing a maximum 60 kilometers and uh, let's actually um, get in the other lane so we're gonna mirror check signal shoulder check looks clear then we change lane to the left and uh, we will uh, change lane again but uh, right now I'm uh, looking at my speed so we are doing about 60 kilometers uh, let's uh, change lane again uh, to the left so shoulder check and now we are in this lane we will be turning left at traffic lights now shoulder check here is optional because it's a new lane and if you just follow the curb like if you enter in this lane right way um, then uh, shoulder check is optional so um, left signal is on and um, we're just gonna wait for the light uh, to turn green so complete stop here same thing um, you know I can see the tires on the ground so um, when the roads are icy because now winter is coming up like after two months it's gonna be you know very slippery uh, so on uh, when you're driving on uh, icy roads uh, you wanna drive um, you know uh, you wanna start to slow down a little bit sooner all right okay so uh, let's go in the razi uh, actually we will uh, go straight from here i was uh, 
planning to go in this area, residential area, but uh, we will go straight from here. So um, again, guys, uh, this video we are doing in uh, Brampton, Ontario. I will be doing a lot more videos in uh, other parts of Ontario. And uh, if you are in Ontario looking for a driving lesson, you're going for your um, G1 exit, G2 exit, uh, give me a call, send me a text message, or uh, you can book your driving lessons online. Uh, we are going left at traffic light, so left signal, shoulder check. And now we can keep the signal on because we are already uh, close to the intersection, light is green. So that means we have to go in the intersection and uh, check oncoming traffic and uh, looks clear there's no pedestrian crossing so we want to go in the first lane first speed limit sign on the right hand side showing a maximum of 50 kilometers we can change lane to the right uh, because the left lane is uh, meant uh, you know um, for uh, fast traffic so you should uh, drive in the left lane uh, when you when you're passing other uh, other cars so in your driving test um, it's very important because um, if you start driving too slow in the left lane um, that's gonna be you know uh, demerit so you will lose points for that and sometimes it's automatic fail so it just depends on the situation so right now we are doing about uh, 47 48 and uh, now we see another uh, traffic light is coming up and let's do another right turn um, oh there is uh, sorry this one doesn't have a right turn so we will uh, just go straight from here because right side is just a parking lot so we don't need to go in a parking lot okay so um, on the next uh, traffic lights over there uh, we will be uh, taking a left turn so we will uh, change lane to the left and now you can see on the right hand side there are a um, couple signs coming up that school area is coming up uh, let's uh, change lane first so we're gonna mirror check signal Shoulder check looks clear. Now we see a sign on the left hand side showing maximum 40 kilometer starts uh, when the lights are flashing. Now we don't want to block this intersection so I will just stop here. And now of course this golden car will um, go behind the other golden car. Um, yeah so situations like this you have to be careful because you don't want to block, um, you know, block any intersection. Uh, we are turning left at uh, traffic lights uh, so we can uh, change lane to the left and um, we are in a turning lane now uh, light is green now it can change any second because it's been green uh, green for a while so slow down this car is gone so now we pull in the intersection uh, looks clear there's no pedestrian crossing first lane first right so always go in the first available lane and then uh, change lane when it's safe to do so now the car behind me already went in the second lane so i'm just gonna speed up at the same time and uh, then uh, move over to the right side when it's safe now a lot of time you will find other people are going over the speed limit so you have to be uh, very um, careful because the speed limit here was remember like it was only 40 kilometers um, and this guy was probably doing like uh, 50 or even more than 50. Um, that's where 40 ends now it says flashing 40 ends okay uh, then it goes back to 50 if you don't see any other sign but in this case um, like on this uh, road um, you will see the sign where the traffic light is you will see another sign showing maximum 60 kilometers so um, the speed limit goes to 60 so um, the point I want to make is uh, don't follow other traffic blindly because they are doing lots of mistakes they are going in the wrong lanes and they are going over the speed limit right uh, I'm not saying they're bad drivers like they are you know they are safe drivers but they just don't remember all the rules because they have done their driving test a long time ago they probably don't remember all the rules and that's one of the reason why you should actually share these videos uh, with uh, your family members and friends um, so they can watch the videos and uh, you know they um, it will be a very good reminder for them uh, what to do okay so speed limit is uh, maximum 50 kilometers uh, unless otherwise posted so in Ontario if you don't see a speed limit sign um, that means it's 50 kilometers but here we see a sign showing it's 60 kilometers we go uh, we will be turning right at traffic lights so signal shoulder check get in the right lane uh, we can cancel the signal for now because we are still a little bit far from the intersection and then we put it back on your signal should be on about uh, 30 meters before the intersection 
if your signal is too late too soon um, that's going to be a deduction in the test now we are in the residential area maximum speed here is uh, 50 kilometers and um, this video i think it's getting pretty long um, so we will actually stop somewhere and um, do another video so i will just uh, stop here write signal on to indicate other people that i'm going to stop and um, put the car in park okay so that's it for this video guys uh, thank you very much and uh, if you are in uh, brampton ontario looking for uh, driving lessons um you know you're going for your uh, g1 exit g2 exit um just let me know you can uh, send me a text message give me a call uh, you can also book lessons online um just uh, link is in the description um just open the website enter your uh, pickup address and uh, you will see everything uh, you know over there like the availability available instructors um, it's a very very good system so uh, definitely uh, check it out and um, i will see you guys again um, in the next video thank you very much Thank you.